bitcoins everybody talks about bitcoins these days so this video is an attempt to apply machine learning algorithms to predict the prices of bitcoin this video in no way promotes or is marketing on the big bitcoins please invest or plan to invest on bitcoins at your own risk this is just an attempt to apply machine learning algorithms and see what the prices would look like in future and how you know you can learn some machine learning algorithms so having said that please see that the prices of bitcoin in january one bitcoin was 930 euros or 897 euros and in december it went high up to 19500 dollars per bitcoin and then it's kind of trading around 14 15000 range now in order to see this chart you go to blockchain.info and if you scroll down a bit you would see interactive chart for one here click on this and you would see this graph now what i have done is using the api uh, we connect to the r uh, uh, platform and using some packages we would predict the prices of bitcoin and this is the predicted price so the based on this model again disclaimer here so based on the model mathematical calculations only it this is going to be the upper range which is close to 38k and this would be the lower range with a median around 12000 13000 so this is a prediction now let's see the model which we have applied and i'm going to share this model uh, the the link is in the video description section below so let's do that here these are the libraries i'm going to use if you don't have these libraries please install it so i'm going to use an api here the same blockchain info market price and if i just say time span 365 and format csv let's do that and go back again to the portal here and paste this and i say json is going to give me in a json format so you can see that this is how the prices are available so i'm going to use the api here so i'm going to use a format csv now let's run this now let's read csv which is now in the api file object using csv data and then the data frame i'm converting into data frame let's look at the records here so this shows the records starting from january of 2007 67 like i'm giving it a 365 days so it goes back one year and brings the record so this is from last one year all the records and till 1225 which was yesterday so this is the price and range and now it is in a data frame okay now let's do our magic let's rename this variable v2 as the close price so i am going to rename the variable v2 as close price and then i am putting this data frame into a new data frame just renaming it edf so the data frame and then let's look at this data frame which shows you the last record so i am good tail edf and then i am calculating a moving average for last 7 days this is to get prepared for the time series algorithm those who have watched my video on the stock prediction i am following a similar kind of methodology but we will use a different algorithm so i am going to do some time series decomposition and uh, also i am going to do some adjustment the seasonal seasonality adjustment please follow my video of stock prediction in which i have decomposed the time series and did some adjustment so this is going to be my adjusted value of the closing price so i worked with a lot of models here uh, i used holt winters it wasn't predicting good auto arima was not good but what i found was the model t bats t bats is a model which to this data set fit the best so i'm going to use it i'm going to keep this 
as commented if you want to use and try see how hold winters and auto arima were, were performing but for now i'm going to use the tbats model let's predict for three months so i'm going to predict 13 to 3 months you can change this number to 4 or 5 or whatever it is now let's round off the data and the fitted curve and for now i'm going to put the dates from 2017 or i should have done 2016 12 26 which is going to be 365 days till 2007, 12, 2017, 12, 25, which is going to be the current date. So this and this would make 365 plus the predicted values to be shown in the graph. So let's do that. Okay. So now let's plot the graph using high chart. So I'm going to plot it. And you would see in a few minutes here, there you go the chart has been created so you can see how we have applied machine learning algorithm tbats to predict the bitcoin prices using an api thank you for watching